the second class of mollusks is gastropods. Gastropods have a single shell, either coiled or flat. Some eat algae, some eat dead or decaying matter, others are predatory. They can withdraw into the shell and close up. They have a trap door called an operculum when they're threatened. And here's a whelk. A large one would be called a conch. And people would take out the gastropod and uh, they might uh, chop it up, put it in uh, various kinds of sauces or cook it. Snails, whelk, conch, limpets, and slipper shells are all in the gastropods. Sea slugs, an unusual uh, type of gastropod called a nudibranch, lacks its shell. Very, very colorful. Uh, it saves uh, the stingers of sea anemones. They actually, when they eat a sea anemone, a nidarian, they're able to take the stinging parts and incorporate them into their own bodies. And these sea slugs, therefore, can sting you, and they're very colorful to warn off predators. Here's some snail shells. A conch, also called scungeal. Here's the conch walking along, its muscular foot. It's got two eyes that come out, eye stalks, tentacles. Uh, there's a lot of muscle tissue. Uh, here's a whelk. Here's the nudibranch. It doesn't have an outer covering, but it's still considered uh, in the gastropod. And it takes in the stingers from sea anemone and incorporates it into its own body to be used to sting predators. So it's colorful to warn them off. And finally, the body plan of a snail. Uh, here's the nice coiled shell. Uh, its mouth, it's got a one-way digestive tract from the mouth uh, through to the anus. It's expelled. Here's a side view. The mouth, the radula is that uh, rasping mouth that can actually drill through a shell. Uh, there are gills to uh, extract oxygen from the water. Uh, it's got a heart, of course, uh, and a shell that coils around. And depending upon how many coils and bands, you can tell the age of that snail.